Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk about the non-steady state diffusion or the fixed second law. So in most practical situations, diffusion is actually happening in non-steady state situation. It means that the flux and the concentration gradient actually varies with time. So we have learned about the fixed first law in which we have seen about or we have seen on the steady state diffusion okay so for the second law it can be represented by this partial differential equation as provided in this formula here and this pde actually can be solved using a case of semi-infinite solid so what is actually this semi-infinite solid semi-infinite solid is when a solid when none of the diffusing atoms actually reaches the bar and during the diffusion process okay so you can imagine that this is a solid and diffusion is occurring here and when none of the solutes reaches the end of the bar so during the whole diffusion process so we call this as semi or semi-infinite solid Okay, this is a profile, concentration profiles showing the non-steady state diffusion for different times T1, T2, and T3. And as you can see, that the concentration of the diffusing species at these three different times are different and the profiles are non-linear. Okay? Alright, so this is the equation uh, for solving diffusion in semi-infinite solid, all right, so we can use this to actually work out or solve the PDE um, Equation for this one fixed second law. All right, so C naught is the concentration of the solute atom before diffusion occurs, okay, and Cx is the concentration at Def x after time t. So you can imagine this is a bar or any solid, and when diffusion occurs um, at whatever um, location here after a certain time t, this would be the concentration of the solute. All right, and the Cs is the constant surface concentration, the surface concentration um, of the solute, which is the Cs, and this. Thing here ERF and whatever in this bracket we call it this as Gaussian error function okay as you can see in this formula for the semi infinite solid this formula can be used if it meets a certain boundary conditions there are three boundary conditions here when um, the first one would be for when t equals to zero c will equal to the c naught which is the concentration of the solute atom before diffusion at any point in the solid the second one for t more than zero c will equal to the concentration of um, the, sorry the constant surface concentration which is the cs at x equals to zero and the last one for t uh, more than zero c will equal to the C naught at x equals to the infinity. So this part here, the Gaussian error function, is just ERF in the bracket Z, and they are just values of which are given in these mathematical tables for various x over 2 dt square root values. So we have here the value of Z, and the value of the error function so I will teach you how to use or how to get um, values out of this thing okay let's look at this one example I I took this example from the material science textbook okay so all right for some applications it is necessary to harden the surface of a steel above that of its interior one way this may be accomplished is by increasing the surface concentration of carbon in a process term carburizing the steel piece is exposed at an elevated temperature to an atmosphere rich in hydrogen gas such as methane okay consider one such alloy that initially has a uniform carbon concentration of 0.25 weight percent 
and is to be treated at 950 degrees C. If the concentration of carbon at the surface, so automatically you know this is CS, is suddenly brought to and maintained at 1.2 weight percent, how long will it take? Okay, so the question is how long will it take? So meaning they are asking you for you to calculate what is T to achieve carbon content of all right here carbon content what is this is a c again concentration at a position of but the problem is is it c naught or cx it's definitely cx because it says here at a position of 0 0.5 millimeter so this is your x below the surface so this is sort of like your surface metal okay or alloy so you are the flux is going like this so below the surface is here and this is five millimeter uh, sorry 0.5 millimeter below the surface and they are asking for you to to calculate the time t for the diffusion to occur at this point when the cx actually equals to 0 0.8 weight percent and given here also the d Assume that the steel piece is semi-infinite. All right, now it's semi-infinite. Then we can use this fixed second law equation to solve for the PDE. All right, so what you can do first is list out all the terms here. What is C0, what is CS, what is CX, what is X, what is D. You can extract all this information from the question. Now you've got all everything listed out. You just plug in into this equation cx equals to 0 0.8 weight percent carbon at x 5.5 uh, millimeters all right so c naught in this case is 0.25 weight percent here uniform carbon concentration 0.25 weight percent before diffusion occurs that is c naught and cs is the surface concentration okay and d also is given so you just substitute all the values inside and this one is actually the x this one is the x and this is d and this is what you are trying to calculate what is t now that you have solved this you will come to this part 0 0.4210 is actually uh, a result of this um, operation equals to this Gaussian error function okay now then we can go back to our table just now here to look for 0 0.4210 so 0 0.4210 is actually located around here right somewhere here 0 0.4210 so you take this portion here okay we must now determine the value of z for which the error function is 0 0.4210 how to do this you're a chemical engineer of course you are very very familiar with interpolation Okay, so you interpolate this value to solve for the value of Z. And you can actually substitute back into this because you know that this is E, R, F, Z, right? Or Z. Okay, so 62.5 S um, square root divided by t square root equals to 0 0.392 solving this meaning you are solving for t you will get 7.1 hour or 25.4 sorry 25,400 seconds so problem solved thank you for watching